how to make a cell mandatory before closing excel workbook hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this advanced excel tutorial i'm going to show you how you can make a cell mandatory for in before closing workbook so every time i close this workbook i will get a pop-up saying if the cell is empty or not if it's empty it won't let me close this workbook this is what we are going to do in this tutorial let's get started <laughs> So this is an empty workbook and I want to make this cell C1 mandatory. Let's highlight it. So cell C1 will require a value before closing this workbook. Okay. So I'm going to use Visual Basic for application or VBA. So for that you need to click on the developer tab. If you don't have developer tab here, you can check out this tutorial. So once you have the, your developer tab here, click on it and click on Visual Basic double click in this workbook and now from this drop down select workbook and here click on this drop down and select before close okay now remove this part we don't need this inside this we are going to write our code first we are going to write if our cell for that we are going to write cells and now within parentheses we are going to write the cell number which is we are going to write through row index and column index number okay so for cell c1 which will be the first row and third column okay close parenthesis so if this cell equal to empty then we are going to show a message box which is msgbox message box now write the message you want to display which will be cell c1 is required right here a comma cb information add another comma and here we have our title field we are going to write msxltutorial.com this will be displayed right above your message okay in the title bar this will be our message box and then we are going to write cancel equal to true now we are going to write end if done our code is ready let's close this if i click on this close button here you can see we have a message box here the message is cell c1 is required and here you can see in the title it says msxltutorial.com okay if i click ok it gives me open here okay now let's write something in cell c1 and if i click here and you can see that message box isn't here but we have this one that means if this cell is empty we cannot close this workbook if it has value we can easily close it remember if you want to save this type of file by this type i mean if you want to save file with a vba code you will have to save it in this format which is excel macro enabled workbook okay so we can save it leaving this empty but we cannot close it you can see our workbook is still here now if i double click here it will reopen it okay now if you are working as a template you can save it but you cannot close it how you can close this workbook i have a trick for you press ctrl alter and delete and click here task manager from here you can select microsoft excel and click on end task now this will close our excel workbook as we have already saved our workbook here this is the easiest way to close this workbook without filling that mandatory cell you will need this trick if you want to create a template so now once you have saved the workbook as a template when you open it let me double click here it will show you this warning enable content you will have to click it because this is macro enable workbook so every time you will need to enable content and there is still another workaround for that you will have to check out this tutorial here 
macro security this will show you how you can save your macro enable workbook in a place and every time your macro will be enabled automatically you don't have to click on that button so again let's test it we don't have anything in cell c1 if i want to close it it won't let me close if i write something here and close it click on save it lets me close my workbook if you need the code check out the link in the description and if you can support the channel through patreon.com slash excel 10 tutorial thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial